to the Coco, left. Coco, can you quiet down a little bit? I want to try and take a nap before I have to get up and go to Dusty's. Oh, uh, okay, I saw we, you need me to wake you up? Ooh, yes, please, wake me up in 30 minutes and not a minute longer. I cannot be late. Okay, no problem, Mama. You need anything before you go to sleep? Ooh, or you wanna play a game or something? No, I don't. I just wanna lay down and take this nap, play your game, play it quietly, and wake me up in 30 minutes. Fine, party pooper. <laughs> Mama, you still sleeping? I'm done playing my game. I guess that's a yes. What am I gonna do now? <gasps> oh, I know. I mean, shh. I know. I'm gonna draw on Mama's face to do her makeup so that she's ready because I know she's not gonna have time. <laughs> she's gonna be so thankful. Uh, Mama, do you want me to do your makeup for you so you don't have to worry about it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get this out the way. Okay, everybody, Mama's still sleeping, so we gotta get her ready, okay? So, boys, I got these. Shh, don't be too loud. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do, uh, okay, because she's an angel, but, you know, she has a big heart. So, I'm gonna put her on the way. Coco, Coco, what time is it? Uh, it's 12.34. What? I told you to wake me up in 30 minutes, which was 30 minutes ago. Oh, well, how was I supposed to know? You never told me what time it was the first time. Well, how were you planning to wake me up if you never knew the time, Coco? I don't know. I didn't really have a plan. I was just hoping that you'll wake up on your own in 30 minutes. <laughs> <sighs> now I don't have any time and I have to hurry up and get ready. Ugh, I can't believe no, this. No, it's Coco. okay. Don't worry, mama. You look good. Just go. But you don't you don't even have any sleep in your eye. People are gonna be looking at you because you look beaut. What? Anyway, I'll be back. Don't touch nothing, don't look at nothing, just sit there. Why? Just why? May I ask what you're referring to? Because I sat down like you told me. My face. What and why did you draw on me? Um, well, what we have here are some whiskers. Um, I don't know why those are there, but uh, a heart on your forehead because you have a big heart and I wanted everybody to see it. Um, your brows were on fleek, but they needed a little bit more um um to them so i made them a little thicker for you um and then i gave you some polka dots because polka dots are pretty um and then i i gave you some more contour for your cheeks i just felt like this could possibly help um your look because i knew you weren't gonna have time to do your makeup <laughs> you, you know what this means right well, everybody has different opinions, but it can either mean you like it or I'm grounded. But 
I'm really hoping it's the force. Well, judging by the fact that I went there and they wouldn't let me in because they thought something was wrong with me, so I got nothing done, it's definitely not the first. Oh, so that means you won't need my help doing your face anymore? No, you're grounded. Mm. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. So, what you think you got for Christmas? I don't know, but I hope we can open them soon. Me too. Jeez, you guys are up early. Your dad and Ari aren't even up yet. I mean, it's 5 a.m. Why are they even still asleep? Santa was clearly here early this time. Well, he was, but that doesn't mean people need to be up as soon as he left, ma'am. You do know the normal time people get up on holidays is like 8 or 9 a.m. Oh, well, it feels like 9 a.m. to me. Mom, can we just start opening gifts, please? No, ma'am. That would be unfair to them, so let's just wait it out patiently. Um, you know, waiting until 9 a.m. on Christmas is a little insane, but if you like it, I guess we love it. So, when you say wait, are we waiting until they wake up, or do you plan on waking them up? Uh, I hope the second option, because the way Daddy's snoring upstairs, we're going to be waiting until tomorrow. <laughs> Chill out. It is not going to take that long. Just sit back and relax. You know what? Let's go around and say what we're thankful for. I'll go first. I'm thankful for you both, your dad and Ari. Family is so important to me, and I'm looking forward to a good year, and I'm thankful for all of our health. Oh, that's so sweet, Mama. And as we all know, your youngest child was your main blessing. Coco, stop. You all were a blessing. Why? 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 Okay, okay, me next. So this year, I'm very thankful for getting into high school. I'm halfway through freshman year, and it's been amazing. Oh, I'm sure, and I really have noticed, Rita, that your head continues to grow, but I'm sure that's from all the knowledge that you've been retaining. Be quiet. Anyways, I'm also very thankful for my family and friends. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Oh, Rhea, that's so sweet. Thanks. Very sweet, Rhea. Okay, 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 smart one. I'm really happy and thankful that Santa came early this year because last year it seemed like he was having some issues because you and Daddy kept telling us to stay upstairs because he forgot to wrap our gifts. So I'm really happy that he got some extra elves to help out this year. Yeah, me too. Those little guys really come through when you need them. <laughs> let's, let's just focus on today, though. Yeah, well... I'm just so thankful for you, Mama and Daddy. You guys sacrificed so much for us, especially this year since I forgot to leave my list out for Santa, and you took it all the way to the North Pole. I'm so thankful for that. Uh, I hope you were able to stay warm when you went, though. <laughs> yeah, it, it was tough, but we made it, and Santa clearly made it, too. Yep, yeah, well, we're done with that now. Any chance they're waking up yet? Let's wait it out a little longer. Fine. How about this? We each open one gift. Yay, finally! Okay, um, I want to open this one first. No, wait, wait, Mama. I want you to open the gift first because you deserve it. Oh, thank you, Coco. See what it is. So thin. A lottery ticket. Thank you, Coco. I might just get lucky today. Pass me a coin. Here you go, Mom. Now remember, if you win, I'm your oldest daughter, and all I need is a car soon. Okay, ma'am. If I win, I'll make sure you all get something nice. Let's see. Go scratch the mama. <laughs> My car. Uh, any luck yet, Mama? <laughs> that's, that's the winning you ticket. Mom, Mom. Coco, that's the winning ticket. <laughs> my car yes you are getting that car and coco what do you want baby uh let's see uh, a dinosaur you know what you got it it's yours <laughs> yay but we also have to be responsible and save i need to invest for retirement oh my goodness this is the best christmas ever well could i get a little bit like 30 percent since i bought it well don't forget about me i was here for moral support of course. Well, not 30%, but I'll put $100 in your piggy bank. And Rhea, we'll figure out something for you. Well, wow. I guess only one of us is going to have enough for retirement. 
<laughs> Let me go wake up your dad. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Oh, I cannot believe you're millionaires. Me either. I'm gonna ask mom to build me a house in the backyard so I can get away from YouTube rats and Oh my gosh, the beaches. The beaches sound so nice. What do you think about the beaches, Coco? Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Why does this say this product is not a real lottery ticket and any attempt to cash it holds a minimum jail sentencing of five years? Coco! Uh -huh. Where did you get this? Amazon. Why? Are you serious? So we're not rich? Well, I wanted to see you happy. Well, now you're about to see me mad. It was just a little joke. A joke that was going to put me in jail. I wasn't going to let it go that far. Well, you let it go far enough to raise my blood pressure. Oh, well, maybe we should open up the other gifts so that it can go back down. They aren't as exciting. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. <laughs> And how long do I have to stay under here? Until Christmas, you'll be okay. Santa, I know you think about cold for me, but I've been doing chores faithfully. So go ahead and send those gifts to me so I can wake up my family and scream, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry, Merry. Coco, what are you doing? I'm waiting for Santa. I was going to ask him if we could share his cookies. What? Wait, here goes a straw for him. You know, I love Santa and all, but I don't know how many cups he's had his mouth on. You know, <laughs> Corona and all. <laughs> what, Mama? What? I have a gift for you. <laughs> oh, aren't you the sweetest? And you wrapped it so nice. Why, thank you. Here you go. Oh, thank you. <gasps> Is it something for my hair? Probably that blow dryer I wanted, right? Uh-uh, no, it's, it's nothing for your wig. <laughs> Don't be funny. Another box? <laughs> Open it. Okay, well, the box is getting smaller. <gasps> oh, it's that hat I wanted, isn't it? Mama, your wig acts as a hat already. I meant to ask you, is it warm? <laughs> okay, I see who has jokes today. <laughs> you got me some Uggs. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Uggs, I tricked you. <laughs> Keep opening it. Okay, Coco, I'm guessing this is the last box. If it's not, I quit. Mama, you can't give up, but yes, that's the last box. I really hope you like it. Okay. Oh. Co Coco, there's, there's nothing in here. Oh, I know, silly mama. I wouldn't put anything in there yet. Christmas is still a few days away. You might get cold. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. What you up to? Uh, oh, nothing. Just working on my New Year's resolutions. I hope those plans include keeping your room clean. Uh, mm -hmm. uh that was actually right here, um, uh, 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 right here at the bottom of my list. <laughs> well, it should have been at the top. What if I told you that it's at the bottom because my main goal next year is to make my own money? Well, that would be nice. Let me see your plan. Well, I was thinking that I could do more chores around the house and you could pay me for that. And then I also could get paid maybe double to wash between Ari's toes just to get in the crevices so that we don't have to smell them because they stink so bad. Your sister's feet don't stink that bad. And yes, maybe I can consider giving you more chores so you can make a little extra cash. Really, Mama? Oh my goodness, I thought that this was going to be so much harder. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe like $200 a week to take out the garbage. $200? Girl, no. I'll consider $20 a week and that'll be for you to take out the garbage, keep the living room clean, and vacuum and sweep. 
Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So we have a deal. What are you trying to do with this money anyway? Well, for starters, I plan to get a year's supply of fruit snacks, my own personal clown because I love to laugh, <laughs> some video games, a treehouse, I'm thinking in the backyard somewhere, I think it'll look really good, Um, and then, oh, 365 different lip glosses so I can have one every single day. Oh, okay, so you're going to make money to spend it all? Yeah, that's the plan. No, budgeting is important, Coco. It's important to save your money and use it wisely. If you spend it all, you'll have nothing and you'll be depending on others. Oh. oh well, I am dependent on you to give me a raise within a few weeks, but we can talk about that later. But mama, don't worry. I have it all mapped out. I got this. Oh, really? Okay, well, let's play bank. First, tell me, if you work for three months, making $20 a week, how much is that? Uh, um, let's see. Okay, if I get $20 per week, and there's four weeks in a month, that's 20 times four, which is $80. And if I'm working for three months, that's 80 times three, which is $240. Mm, okay, good job. I see you're a little math whiz. Let's do this. Here is $240. What, mama, you gonna prepay me? No, absolutely not. We're about to see how long you can hang on to that 240. <laughs> well, call me Miss Hang Woman, cause I'm about to be hanging. Uh, hello, did somebody call cash? <laughs> no, nobody did. Okay, so you said you want video games, right? Yes, there are a whole bunch of new ones that are really supposed to be great. Perfect. That's $100. Oh, that's it? I have that. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. <laughs> and I still have some left. Okay. Name something else you want. Ooh, ooh, some clothes. Oh, really? Okay, well, that'll be another 100. Oh, that's nothing to a baller. <laughs> 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and I still have some left. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, you have $200 less, so what else do you want? Mm. Well, you know what I really want is that personal clown because, you know, I like to laugh and I would just love for him to keep me laughing. <laughs> and now you're in debt. Coco, mismanaging your money is one of the biggest mistakes people make. You have to not only earn, but save Preferably 30 to 40% of each check you make. Oh, well, how do I get out of debt? Can I give the clown back? I didn't really need him. <laughs> no, because there will be situations where there's no refunds. To get out of debt, you have to pay your bills on time and not make the same mistakes again. So, what you're saying is I should make more, spend less, save more, budget it all out so that I can get whatever I want, especially a few more clowns, but... Not too many, because I have to shop responsibly so I can have some money saved on the side for the future. Yeah, something like that. Look, the main thing you want to make sure you do is save. As you get older, you'll learn about investing so you can make more money without worrying about having to run out. Oh, okay. Coco rich from saving, Coco broke from spending it all. I think I'm going to go with rich. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no. Oh, well, your birthday's coming up, so what's the plan? Really, I plan to relax and that's about it. What? That's not a birthday celebration. You know every birthday does not require a big party. This is how I'm choosing to celebrate this year. Well, I guess if you like it, I love it. Sounds pretty boring to me. Oh, well, it sounds exciting to me. Look, I have been working hard and I just need a break. Maybe next year I'll go on a trip or have a gathering or something. Oh, darn it. I forgot to make the sweet potatoes. Uh, okay, take your time. But they gonna suck anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, look. Oh, I'm sorry. Is everything okay? Yes, Coco, everything is fine. But look, I have a secret. I need you to keep it. Is anyone by you? Oh, 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 oh don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. No, mama's in the kitchen burning something. Oh, uh, still doing that, huh? Uh, yep. Well, you know what they say. Some things don't change. <laughs> so we're 
you're throwing your mom a surprise birthday party and you're in charge of making sure that everything runs smooth, all right? Oh, Unc, I don't think mama will like that. She says she just wants to relax this birthday. Uh, Coco, that's, that's what you call the midlife crisis. Oh, no, no. Is mama going to be all right? Absolutely, Nisi Pooh. Look, it's just your mama's getting old. She's ancient. <laughs> it's okay. She's fine. Oh, who? He scared me. All right, so we're going to do the party, but I do have one task for you, all right? Keep her busy until I pick you guys up tomorrow night, and I'll say we're going to uh, a movie or something. All right, but remember, it's a surprise, so... Oh, oh I gotta go. Um, here she comes. You know, I was thinking, how about we do takeout instead of potatoes? I had, had a little bad luck with them. <laughs> Ooh, it, it smells like it. What was that? Oh, oh I said, yeah, I like it. <laughs> like, like the restaurant idea. Ooh, how about that one that has the really good food? Oh, dragon pong yam. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Not as amazing as this weekend. Oh, what's happening this weekend? This weekend? Who said something about this weekend? You did. I did? Oh, oh no, I was rapping this weekend. This weekend is flowing on real strong. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think I may want to go shopping and get a facial as part of my birthday gift to myself. Oh, that's a good idea. And then you'll have something to wear for this weekend. Why would I need something to wear? Uh, wear? Who said anything about you needing something to wear? You. You clearly just said it. Uh, oh, oh, no. That, that was part of my rap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I missed it. What is so funny? Y you know, Mama. <laughs> no, I don't. Anyway. On second thought, maybe I should go out of town or do a staycation. Oh, oh no, you don't want to do that. Why don't I? Be because of the... Uh, of what? Finish your sentence. Um, be because of the cost. You, you know, you should really save your money for rainy days or use it for something important. Oh, well, I thought my birthday was important. Well, it is, but... But what? But you'll have another next year. Girl, please. You know what? If I didn't know any better, I think you were hiding something. Hiding something? Who, who, who me? Who, no, 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 no. I, I'm just here. I'm here. I'm not hiding anything. Oh. oh okay. Well, what what is wrong with you? Oh, no. I, I'm just happy. <laughs> Yep, that's it. I'm, I'm just happy. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, okay. Well, calm down and stop being so weird. <gasps> oh, I got it. I'll take a little road trip. What? 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 Did you see something? Uh, no, 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 no. I, I just don't think it would be a good idea. And why is that? Uh, uh, because there's a big surprise party happening for you this weekend that you're not supposed to know about. Oh, Uncle's yeah, yeah. gonna kill me. Oh, Mama, please just act like you don't know anything about it and walk in and be like, oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? Uh, yes, but remember, you didn't hear it from me, okay? Whew, that was a relief. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no no. My birthday yet move uh, of course it is birthday girls get to celebrate all week well when you say it that way i guess it is my birthday okay say it again happy birthday mama hey it's my birthday it's my birthday <laughs> oh, i am just so thankful to see another year of life i'm thankful that you get to see another one too because i wouldn't know what to do without you well let's start with you have to keep going. But how? I will be so sad. That's understandable, but the world doesn't stop when someone dies. We all have a beginning date and an end. You have to promise me that no matter what, you'll keep going. Promise? Yes, mama. 
it's okay to grieve for a little while, but you have to pick yourself back up and continue doing great things until we see each other again. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, stop, stop. Now, what's up? Why were you hanging over me like a lost puppy? Oh, I made you some lunch. What? You cooked? Why and how? Well, I, I didn't want you to be hungry for your birthday. Listen, I'm gonna let it slide this time because my house isn't burned down and I understand why you wanted to do something nice. However, going forward, wait until I wake up to make anything. Eat a snack until then. Capiche? Capiche. Okay, eat up. It's time to eat. I just find it very hard to believe that you made a whole meal. Just call me Chef Gorar-C. I guess it can't kill me. Wait, can this kill me? <laughs> no, mama, just try it. I put a lot of effort in that. Okay, well, let's see. So? Did you make this yourself? I mean, I guess you had to, because there's nobody else here. Mm. Yep, no box food over here. And I didn't even burn it like you do. <laughs> First of all, I don't burn food. I just make sure it's well done. Yep, um, a little too well done. You know, Coco, you may be a little chef. Really? Absolutely. This is insanely delicious. What exactly did you put in here? It's seasoned to perfection. Oh, nothing major. I just used some pickle juice. That was the first start. You know, I had to saute it in there. And then I used those old onions that you had at the bottom of the fridge. They started growing some fuzzy stuff on it. I think it was mold, but mm, smelled a little bad, but they still work. Oh, and for the sweet potatoes, I used those old seasonings that you had that you said you were saving that you got back in 2016 for antiques. But I didn't want to use your new stuff. You did what? And then there was something that you threw away, but I thought that was an accident, so I just took it back out the garbage and I sprinkled it on top. So I'm sitting here eating old moldy food, expired seasonings, and something you thought I threw away by accident? Mm-hmm. That's how I got the nice spice and tang to it. It's delicious, right? I saw it on a show called Extreme Cheapskates. One of the episodes taught me how to cook on a budget. And since I didn't have any money and I wanted to surprise you, I just had to use what I could use. Oh, throw this out. Throw this out now. Is, is something wrong? You didn't really eat much. Yes. Did you eat some? <laughs> Absolutely not. Why would I eat this? I was waiting on you to make dinner. Now, now, Coco. You know that.